Hi everybody, this is Cindy McVeigh, and I'm here tonight with another tutorial for you on how to use Photoshop Elements in your scrapbooking and websites and blogging. And tonight's topic is making word art. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by opening a new blank file. And tonight we're going to work in inches. We're going to work with a width of 12. Let's make it a height of 8. 300 resolution. RGB color. And go ahead and set your background for white today. So let's do that. And there is our working canvas. And what we're going to be doing is actually making words that you can print or use in headers on your blogs or your websites. So think of it in terms of if you were um, paper crafting that you'd be using a stencil and paper and scissors. And I'm going to show you how to do all that digitally. So the first step is to get our digital paper. And there's a number of ways you can do that. You can download free digital um, scrapbook paper off the web. Off the, uh, web. There's a lot of it out there. Just Google it. Um, just if you do that, make sure that you respect the creator's copyright and rules of use. And be sure to read that. Um, but if you have Photoshop Elements, it comes with a lot of content. You can see that I have a content palette opened up down here on the um, bottom right hand side. Now if you don't know where your content palette is um, and you don't see it when you open it up, you go up here to the top at Window and you get a drop down of all your available windows. And I have the content, effects, and layers open. That's what you're going to need for this technique. So in my content I'm going to first find a background that I like and the word that we're going to be doing today is picnic for a cute little picnic page. So I have my content, you can pull it up a number of ways. I'm going to look up by type and backgrounds first for this part. And you can see that there's numerous things to choose from. And this is the one I'm looking for right here, this pretty little gingham. That reminds me of a um, picnic tablecloth. Now I want you to notice in the window that the graphic is an oblong um, shape and it's in landscape format and that's why I made this in the proportions that I did and I made the width 12 because I do um, 12 by 12 scrapbook pages and when I'm working in um, making scrapbook elements I try to work in what I call real measurement so that um, you're getting good quality when you print it out large enough to fit across a, a real 12 by 12 page. Now the 8 inches is obviously way too tall for a, a scrapbook page header but we're going to need that working room and you'll see that in a few in a little while. So um, think of this now as our scrapbooking paper and now we need our stencils for the letters to cut it out. So we're going to make that by going to the text tool. That's going to load our, our um, fonts and you need to choose a fairly bold one for this something that you can imagine cutting out with real scissors not something real small or something real dainty like that I'm going to choose bolder and I'm going to work in black just so I can see it although the color of the font doesn't really make any difference whatsoever so click on your um, work surface here and you'll notice that it automatically Photoshop creates a text and it calls it layer one and I'm just going to type in my word picnic that looks good spelled correctly click the check mark and when I do that and accept it it puts a bounding box around it so with my move tool selected we can now move it anywhere and we can now resize it oops grab that corner and I'm going to make it almost the width of my page and I'm going to use the little measurements here along the side to gauge how big this is going to be and that's at about two and a half I want them to be about three and a half inches tall so that looks about right move it to the center make sure you leave yourself enough margins all the way around to crop it later and I cl click the check mark to accept it so there's my stencil that looks pretty good I'm happy with the way that looks 
and now I want to cut it out of this background. So in order to do that we now go over to our layers and we're looking at the front side or the right side of our paper. If we were doing this with real stencils we would put the stencil on the back and trace it with pencil and then cut it out. So that's how you can remember the order that these need to go in. Right now the stencil's on top. We want to put the stencil on the back side of the paper. So we're going to drag that down. Sometimes, there we go, sometimes it takes a couple tries. But drag it till it's on the bottom. And now here's the coolest thing. If you put your cursor right here on this line in between the two layers, press the Alt key, you get that little symbol that looks like two little circles. You click and it cuts your letters out for you just like that. Isn't that awesome? So there's our word picnic. Now we can start to embellish it, um, give it a little dimension, outline it if we want to. This is where we start to add effects. So we go up here to our effects box and the first effect that I like to apply is my bevel. So I'm going to choose this one just because I happen to know that that's one that I like. Oh, you got to select your text box, which I didn't do. Make sure your text layer is selected, and then apply your effect. And you can see what it did. It gave it a little bit of a 3D look. Now, I want to do some other things to this, including making that bevel a little more obvious. So now that, you, now that I've applied that, you probably can't see it on your screen because it's very small and very dark. But when you're working on your own computer, you'll see a little FX right here above where this little hand is pointing. If you double click that, you get this style settings dialog box. Now I'm going to cut off the video right here for time and I'm going to come back in part two and show you what to do with the style settings box.